Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 54 of Terraria 1.3. Last episode, as you can probably tell by the water bolt in my inventory and the clothier over here. Oh, and the, don't forget the, the bone glove. We killed Skeletron. It happened. I told told you it would. People were, uh, I would say, less than happy that, I, that I've been building so much. There's, there's a lot of people who don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people who like it. There's a lot of people who don't like it. But I love... Hey, they changed this. I think they changed this a while ago. Um, I need to go do our fishing quest, but I love building. So I, I tried to break it up, obviously. Tried to uh, go do some Skeletron killing while also doing a lot of building. Now, this episode, I need to go do that fishing quest like I just picked up. And it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and place down these acorns. I, I would like some trees to keep growing. I'm going to need it for the, the penis fixing, if as it were. The whole floating wiener in the sky that accidentally came to be that I I genuinely did not try that on purpose but it happened we need to fix it I need to write the wrong <laughs> but let's go do this fishing quest here first and probably be easier just to teleport so yeah kill Skeletron last episode that was a pretty important milestone now the binoculars as cool as they are I don't really need them in my inventory at all right now and of course this is why I need to build my storage I'm just gonna put this away when we go to the dungeon, don't let me forget, I want to use the bone glove. That's going to be useful. I'll leave the b nades here. I'm going to bank the space gun for the time being. Don't truly need it at the moment. Now, let's go do this fishing quest before we get overly distracted. Also, let's uh, get our imp, which I really should re-roll that. But, yeah, I, I also, yeah, here you go, the meteorite brick walls. They look really sweet. I, I genuinely like that, but I hate the fact that if I combine a block with it, it's going to lose that awesome effect. So I need to go to the caverns at the very least. So let's keep falling down here. And obviously we are using the slime mount to make us fall much faster. And oh god, is it so good. It works so well. I love this. Where's a big lake that isn't in the this biome, the, the icy biome? We're, we're finding lava. I think right here will work. Let me just equip this. And we're almost there. Alright. Is that big enough of a lake? Maybe. It'll have to do. It should be. Let's let's uh let's cast our line here, start fishing. Hey imp, if you wanna protect me, that's cool. So we have access to the dungeon now. That is huge. And don't get me wrong, I wanna go explore it. But fishing quest, I wanna fill in the turd. I am trying to come up with a different idea for a house. I don't want to just rip off my idea from previous. I mean, like my, my, my previous uh, 1.2 Let's Play. That house was freaking amazing. Like, I loved the design. And honestly, I am no designer. Like Building is difficult for somebody like me. I am more... I would say logical thinking, and I'm getting seaweed here, so I don't think this is a good a good place to be fishing. Well, that's kind of how I work. So I'm I'm, I'm no art artiste. Do we want to just go to a different pond? Because yeah, there's there's better caverns. Actually, hold on. Y yeah, we could just go up the line. Yeah, let's just go up here. Uh, I don't know if you have to fish in lava. I believe back when fishing first came out to get the, the demonic hellfish, you had to. But it only says cavern, so I think I can get away with um, with with regular water. I could be totally wrong. Uh, we're still in the caverns, right? Yeah, let's try this. This this is big enough. But the, you used to have to use, to my knowledge, you used to have to use lava, and then you had to get a special fishing rod. I think there's two fishing rods. I think the golden one could do it. And then there's the I can't remember the name right now, but there's a fishing rod that lets you fish in lava. Uh, I think they nerfed it to make it easier. It was, it was kind of a pain in the butt. And you had to do fishing quests to unlock it in the first place. And a lot of times you would get shafted and you would be required to fish for it when you didn't have access to the fishing rod. So, fuck you slime. It, it, it didn't make much sense that they had it the way they did. So I think that's why they changed it. We're getting things out of here, but I think I need to knock this wall out. In fact, I am going to. So let's go ahead and just knock this wall out. I think that, it, yeah, I think opening it up like this helps. I could be totally wrong. But we'll, we'll, we'll try the fishing quest here just for a little bit. If, if we don't get lucky, I'm just going to go back and work on the turd. I want to get that done. I want to get working on my house. But I can't forget to do my fishing quest here and there. And we got lucky. So it, they, they, they did change it. 
it used to be that you couldn't get it. I swear, anyway. <laughs> With 99% certainty. And while I'm here, you know what? I'm going to turn this quest in. What? Ooh, what the radio? Is that what I needed? Is that what I needed? Am I crazy? I mean, I'm crazy, but... Uh, it's one of these accessory things. I think it's this one. Text it. Yes! I needed this! This can make something. I'm fairly certain. Um, come here. To, can, do I combine it at the Tinker's Workbench? Or do I need something else first? No. I just need the Fish Finder. And then I can show... This This is huge. Because this, this could have taken forever. But we got really lucky. That plus the GPS, which I have. Plus the Goblin Tech. Plus the Rec 3000, which I do not have. I believe it requires the ra yeah, Radar. Lifeform Analyzer. And the tally counter. Ah, oh, crap. Where do you get the tally counter? Was it... S was it skeletons in the... Dungeon? Mm. We're very close to having another accessory. And that's going to save a lot of inventory space. I don't know. I, I will look that up for sure. I do not know off the top of my head. But that is huge that we just found that. I could have swore... Uh, I think I've used it as bait before because it was equal to... Yeah, let me show this to the guide. I think you can put it in a terrarium. Blue jellyfish jar. <laughs> I get a jar out of a bottle. So, it's kind of just a goofy accessory. Uh, doesn't really interest me at the moment, but I will bank it rather than destroying it. Leave the bones here. But, that's huge. I'm really glad we got this. So this is going to help me out with the moon phases and the fishing information. Now, what it'll say over here... I have no idea what waxing gibbous means. I'm pretty sure that is a phase of the moon. I am, I am, I have no idea. But <laughs> I'm not a weatherman. Uh, clear. I don't know if how that. I'll, I'll have to look that up. How that affects your fishing, but that can help you out immensely. Like some nights when there's a bajillion fireflies, that's why. So we did our fishing quest for the day. I can go work on the turd now. I'm gonna get rid of the bass. I should have a bunch of dirt unless I left it at the. The house, the future house. There's some in here. I might need more. And I am also considering, again, I'm, I'm considering bringing the turd down a little bit, the ground, just so I can fill in a little bit more dirt. We gotta give the turd some more girth. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking we should call it the turd girthy. And then that reminds me, that is what my buddy named the world, the Let's Play world. Well, not the Let's Play world, the world of a multiplayer server that we played on. It's called Girthy. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Anyway, he's probably watching this right now. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's chop these trees and then get back up and fill the turd. Because it's becoming night, and I really want to start seeing what this is going to look like. I, I, have, I have high hopes for this. I have no idea how I'm going to make my actual house, though. But I have high hopes for the, uh, <laughs> the thing that's about to occur. Can I place the remaining two somewhere? Probably get away with it right here. Okay, so, can I reach up here? Nope! Oh, so close. So close. I'm really happy we got that accessory. I'm really happy we got Water Bolt. Water Bolt is going to make a huge difference when I go do, like, the dungeon, for example. Or, now we can go far meter of worlds really easily. And if I want money, I might start that. Uh, dirt walls, which should be over here. I'm going to put torches here. I didn't kill that slime. That was the imp. I'm going to put torches here just because I've noticed it's been very dark. These aren't permanent. But it's been very dark when I've been building. And people probably are struggling to see. I thought I had some dirt walls in here. But no. I, I feel like I'm going to need a few. So let me bring some. And now let's start filling in ye old turd. This should be pretty cool when done. I can already see the lighting effect. It's so pretty. I'm so glad this happened. <laughs> uh, definitely want to get that placed here. Zombie, I should just like shoot bees over at you. Because it would be funny. Because you would die. This almost looks like a heart now. Duh. I should I should have waited till we got adamantite. All right. <laughs> and then uh, made it red. Made a red heart. It is not Valentine's Day. I'm a loner anyway. <laughs> this doesn't apply to me. Um, no, oh, no. I didn't mean to grapple there, but... Down he goes. So, I, uh, yes, see, called it, called it dirt wall right there. Yep, works for me. And I'm doing the, the stone first because there has to be, there doesn't have to be, I would like there to be a 
a layer of two stone at the very least all around. And I want to go here. I want to cut that torch off. So that is good. Get rid of that. I am considering getting rid of some of this. You, sir, are dead. Really? I figured more bees would come out. But here, have a water bolt. <laughs> Shooting a water bolt in the turd is a bad idea for enemies. They will get wrecked because it'll keep bouncing. I feel like that is acceptable. And then I want to place here and here. And there's also a moment of one, like a one block thickness there. There's also one there. Damn it. See, now we have to go fix this because this is something we will always see because the torches are always on. There. We're good? No, we're not. I am anal. I am overly anal. Um, there. Okay. We can be done, right? We're done? I think we're done. We're done. Okay. We're good there. <laughs> Let's fill in the dirt here. And again, I know it's going to be a little bit dark, but let's go ahead and place these. This would have been a perfect time to have bring the, or brung the building potions. Shame on me. I've only used them like once now. And this is going to mess with some of the grass here, I think, if I keep placing it. But you can see how the vines are... You know, I'm just going to throw a fucking torch down. I know it's going to ruin the aesthetic, but it'll disappear eventually. Uh, the vines starting to hang from below. That is really going to start looking cool. It's going to take some time for them to grow. I could place the, the actual vines. Get that book that lets me get vines from chopping grass down. Like, these things. And I just place them where I want. But it should grow in nice and evenly, naturally. So unless I really need to, I'm not going to go like out of my way to harvest them. I will leave them here for now. Demon Eyes, you have no idea how tempting you are. Overcast. Does that mean it's... Is there a cycle? I'm, I'm looking at the thing over here to the right. Oh, and it tells me my fishing power. That's really cool. Is there a cycle to weather? Like, I thought it was always all about that RNG. Maybe I will learn something if I pay attention to the... The fishing... What was it? The, it was the sextant, the... I don't remember what went in this. The sextant, the fishing notes, and then that radio I got. The weather radio. Yeah. So I'm assuming the weather radio is what's telling you that. That makes the most sense. Sextant, what would that be telling me? The sextant, sextant, isn't that with coordinates? Is that what do with coordinates? I, I, I'm no sailor, so I don't know. I have no idea. Fishing notes. What, what would the fishing notes do? Tell me my fishing power? I don't remember what each of the accessories d uh, did because I never used them because there was no point in keeping three of those in my inventory. I should read the descriptions. Shame on me. So we are almost done here. And now what I need to do is going to be a little bit awkward and probably difficult at first. But let's... Uh, that's actually okay. Um, Imp, I would like it if you would move. Hey, hey, you want to stay out here? I'm not going to have to keep summoning you, am I? No, you'll stay down there. Cool. Let me double up here. Double up here. There's a grasshopper. He is inside the wall. Hey, if you want to keep killing those guys, that is actually really good. Because if they drop lenses, I will go down there and pick it up. And I think I want to put like that. Okay, so we are almost done here on this side. So we're going to get a sense of what this is going to look like. Like, finally, an actual... I got the lens of the wall. <laughs> An actual sense of this. I am okay with this. So he officially butchered them all. And I want to make sure I completely surround this. And then we're going to see what this looks like. God, it's it's too dark. I know. I apologize. I, I genuinely do. So here we go. The final, final layer of dirt before it's like officially all closed up. Oh, there it is. It's closed off. That whole side of the turd is no longer accessible. And that looks... Really cool. Like, when we're over here, we're in a house. That's going to look sick. So, I'm feeling that we should stop. Go get a building potion. I don't believe I put one in this chest. No. Let's go get a building potion. It's going to save us a lot of time in the long run. I don't think it's worthwhile to sit here and keep building without one. Uh, did I put it? Is, that's a crate potion. Danger sense potion. Is it this chest that the that this Dingleberry is next to, or is it this one? It is this one. No? Okay, it is. These are supposed to last 15 minutes each, so we should be good with... <laughs> we should definitely be good with that many. I might as well start capturing you guys. I am going to have a lot of research to do on the wiki, like looking up these moon phases. 
to see what they equate to. There's a lot. There's a. Do these give off light? No, they do not. But yeah, the moon phases, there is a lot of detail to them. Like a lot of stuff that goes on in the background that you do not know, like notice, unless you're aware of it. Uh, it's all about fishing power, monster spawns, weather has, I think weather's even impacted. So there's a, there's a lot to get, learn about. Now, this is important because I can get my water lily seeds and we can finally move our stuff. I should get plenty of seeds back, even if I break, yep, even if I break some water leaf. We're okay there. This isn't blooming, is it? Almost looks like it is, but no. Moon glow is, obviously. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of this. Now, what this lets me do is I can replace this with water leaf. However, I want to wait for... This is going to be the water leaf, right? Yes. I can't ruin that fire blossom there. So, I will take three of these out. I will do my damnedest to not break them on accident. Let's go ahead and get rid of these. We'll slap down our water leaf planter boxes. So, they should look... A little bit different. I mean, I realize you can... I'm, I'm doing it. Use those regular Daybloom ones. But I like the variety that this offers. And we want to make sure we use water leaf seeds. So here we go. Hey, if you want to sprout and give me some more seeds during this rainstorm, I am completely okay with that. Now we have to do the same thing that we've been doing. Keep that theme alive. Keep uh, like the placeholders going. These are eventually all going to be filled up as just as we play. Uh, remaining water leaf here. God, I, I love it. Look at all these potions. Potential potions here. You don't even see it. <laughs> I would also like to make a sink while I'm here. Someone told me that you can use a sink to get water for your potions, which that makes a whole lot of sense. I never actually knew that. I always just used like a natural source of water. <laughs> Silly me. That takes care of that. And now I can just start quick stacking. Quick stacking. We're done. These things seem to blossom, and I think that's, like, morning? Maybe? There's a certain time frame that those blossom. Okay, let's take care of these guys. No, 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 no. Have some bees. That could be water. Yeah, let's water bolt this dude. So, it'll just endlessly knock him back. There's, like, nothing he can do. Oh, that's why I'm not quick stacking, because it's on my hot bar. Silly me. Yeah, gotta get my money. Okay, so now, we did pop the Builder's Potion, correct? We did. Let's take care of these dingleberries. It's kind of fitting that we're in the floating turd, so I can call them dingleberries. Get the dirt blocks, and we should be placing these a whole lot quicker now. Yeah, it's not like insanely fast, but it's definitely noticeable. And I am okay with this. So it, it helps. That really does look like a heart, now that I look at it. <laughs> it is a pretty heart. And this is going to take surprisingly long, but this is absolutely something that needs to get done. A lot of people are hounding me about this one, telling me to fill in the turd already. I, I know! You're telling me! Fill in the turd. So why don't we just do maybe half of the turd for now? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while, and I don't want to overly bore you. And then I'm sure I can go find something else to do. Full moon right now. And I am fairly certain a full moon... Damn it, I need to get over here. A full moon means... Should be good fishing. And it should also be... I think a lot of fireflies? If I read the wiki correctly a while back, or if I can remember it? There's also a couple other things about the full moon. Hey, it's, it's, okay, so it's day that the slimes are spawning, so we can go get our next quest. And we want to take advantage of the full moon because... Look at my fishing power. Remember it was like 54 or 59 earlier? I wasn't paying attention to it when it changed. Like I said, th the, the moon phases have a massive impact. That doubled my fishing power. It, this is stuff that I wasn't aware of because I didn't have the fishing gear. Now we can obviously see it. And this one needs to have a stone block. So, let's go ahead and stop. Uh, let's just empty the stack. We only have 60 some blocks left. Let's go get another fishing quest. And see if we can't work our way towards that golden fishing rod. And we do need to fill in a wall there. I'm sure someone noticed that. I, I totally didn't. I am a derp. Son, I am derp. No, nope. I break you. No, nope. damn it. I'm trying to get over here. Can I reach it now? You're going to make me go all the way over there, aren't you? 
So let's dig our way over. Are we close enough now? We are. So that helps. That helps a lot. All right, now let's finish up the stack of dirt and go get our fishing quest. I love this idea. I am so glad that I thought of it. <laughs> gotta, gotta give yourself praise where praise is due. So let's go home. And let's see here. What do you got for me, Bryce? You have a bunnyfish quest, and that is an easy one because we have a lake here and a lake here. This is the bigger lake, so let's go over yonder. And now tonight, um, there should be, if I remember correctly again, oh look, our, our fishing power went down. No! There should be a lot of fireflies. Fishing power went back up. I remembered to put on my, uh, <laughs> my, my angler gear this time. Look, look at that. B bunny fish right away. I wonder, if, am I going to get like more crates and stuff? Because my fishing power is insanely high right now. Like, I mean, I realize we're getting a lot of bass right now. I'm just trying a few, few hauls to see what happens. And uh, I'm still just getting a bunch of bass. I could pop the crate potion if I wanted to farm for him, obviously. But already got our, already got our quest fish. Got to, re got to remember and make sure you put the armor on. The last thing I want to do is wear angler armor into a boss battle and off myself. That would be embarrassing. Apprentice bait, crate potion, and some gold. I like the gold. Keep the gold coming. And we banked our dirt, which we still need. And I can put those crate potions away. Or they, I think they were over here. I can't wait to go crate farming with the amount of, the amount of crate potions I'm sitting on. Uh, I don't really have any room for this thing. This is why I can't wait to move my damn house. It's going to happen soon. I don't even have the platform. I don't even have the platform which my house was going to reside done. So we got work to do. We've got work to do. Day bloom planter box. I wonder how much you sell for. I know you cost a silver each, but how much are you gonna sell for? Water leaf is not done. Obviously, day bloom is here. Fire blossom is what I was checking up on. Hasn't sprouted yet. It's like I can't remember. It says like nine. It said like nine a.m. or nine p.m. Something like that's when the fire blossoms come up. There's, there's a definite time frame. Again, I am not 100% accurate, so always check like the wiki. There's, there's always good information there. Don't let your teachers at school tell you that Wikipedia's bad. They're just stupid, and they grew up without one. <laughs> They're just jealous. Marigold, don't be growing up here. I don't need your shit. I, I don't need no marigolds in my floating turd. So once that goes away, it should help break up the like the obvious cut transition between marble and dirt. I mean, you're going to see it here, but if I really wanted to do it, fix it later, I, I could. I think I'll leave it there. Maybe even make the transition between marble and dirt less abrupt. Like, I'll feather it in rather than just like a straight line across. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. Right now, biggest concern is let's finally get the turd filled in while we have the builder potions helping us out. That's, uh... Which... You can use a cement placer or whatever it's called, I think, to increase your, your radius that you can place blocks, but I could have swore. Did, did I? I probably dreamt it because I played this game so, game so damn much, but how amazing would it be that if you could get an item, let you place multiple blocks down at once, like a two by two square? Like a, That'd be freaking fantastic. In before it exists and I'm not aware of it, and somebody's screaming at me saying, why aren't you using it? I don't know! I didn't know it existed! If I did, I'd use it. Look at that. See, now this is all dark. This is what I want. It's like you don't even see it. And, it, like, all I will end up seeing is the the ore that I spent so much time placing in there and making it look pretty. This is amazing. So we already did our fishing quest for the day. I'm very happy about that. Just gotta fill in the turd here. And I need to come up with an idea here for the house. I've got an idea, sort of. It might end up just being a bunch of storage. I mean, obviously, again, we need the NPC rooms. NPC rooms have to be a thing. I don't know if I'm going to make individual NPC rooms. That's going to require a lot of time building. As much as I want to do it, I'll probably be pissing people off again. I mean, that's how I play, so you know what? <laughs> you can skip episodes. I'll probably do it, to an extent. I don't think everybody's going to get their own room. I, I, don't, I don't even have that many ideas, to be 100% honest with you. But, that'd be cool. I just can't think of a, a house. 
In all, in all honesty, I can't think of a house to top my old one. It was too cool. It was too cool. I just have to spend some time thinking about it. I don't know. And do I want to use meteorite walls here? Like for my little elevator up. I don't know if I, if I feather them in into the marble. If they're still going to have that cool uh, red background. Or like red outline. I don't think they will. Sadly, I think that it's going to get ruined. So there's not much I can do on that front. And here is where I was talking about maybe adding some more dirt. Because this, like this side over here is a little bit light on the dirt. It's, it's a little bit thin. Needs to eat a sandwich, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> I don't know what I just killed. It was probably a grasshopper, but yeah. I could add a little bit more dirt to the bottom. That'd be cool. And I mean, I can't even get underneath this to get over here. Now we can. <laughs> we're coming close to the phallic object. I swear to God, we're going to fix it. I'm going to put a room over here, and I'm going to make some, some actual branches here soon. And I think that's going to alleviate <laughs> alleviate its phallic state. <laughs> so, it's actually time to wrap the episode up, guys. This was uh, episode 54, Fishing Gear. Yeah, that was an unexpected surprise. I'm very glad we got that. 69, fish pa 69 fishing power. What a perfect time to wrap the episode up. <laughs> so, the Skeletron defeated uh, Waterleaf. Oh, we're speaking of Waterleaf, that, that Waterleaf needs harvested. And it would be wrong of me not to go do it. Can I just grapple my way through here? I totally can cheese the game. So, it would be wrong of me not to go harvest it. Because you can only get it during rain. You can only get the seeds. Might as well. Because we're going to need them. And one, two. And then again, just quick stack. So easy, so convenient. Oh, I love it. All right, guys, wrap it up here. Episode 54. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Poke.